that I'm starting with. Yeah. We got four bowls rammed up that have gotten ready over the last couple of days. We're going to melt some cast iron again this morning. I'm going to try to melt 25 pounds. Uh, either, uh, more than what I've been melting by about 10 pounds. The last melt was about 17. So, I've got it all ready here. I just lit the furnace. So, I'll give a quick walk around and as you can see, this is charger for the camera and this is a temperature thermometer, fluke thermometer that uh, I was gave to me. Uh, it's about 85, 86 degrees this morning here. It's going to get up around 100 today. This is the molds. One, two, three, four. My pouring bench. Ladies, uh, this was sitting way over on the other side of the yard and I moved it all over here. Got it uh, strained down a little quite a bit. Well, the bench is not, but I got a swing arm with a boat winch on it. If I have to do real heavy pours or need to pick up a heavy flask or something. My heated uh, oil tank made out of a piece of 10 inch pipe. Got a Pyrex sight glass on it and uh, electric heating element in it to heat the oil. The oil's about 150 degrees this morning. The new bar blower on my burner I've been working with. The damper, it was actually repurposed off of a coffee roaster that I built several years ago. The actual burner tube, all the lines hooked up to it, siphoned all of them. Inside this, this is a preheat in the crucible right now. Bring it up here a little bit and I'll uh, give it a couple more minutes. All of what you see laying on top of that piece of a car jack, car stand is uh, the raw material that's going to go in the crucible along with what's already in there. I got plenty. There's a big basket full of bits and pieces there. And big pile over there. Plus I got a bunch more in my truck. So. I said I'll come back to the video when something exciting starts happening. And
This is the first part of two parts that I poured today. I'd hope to do four molds, but uh, due to unforeseen problems with the burner, not flowing the amount of oil that it has been, uh, melt not getting quite as hot as it's supposed to. Uh, we only got two. This is one of the two parts that I was wanting, really wanting to pour. I'm hoping this is the last one that I have to pour. Uh, it's a clamp handle for my 16 inch Cincinnati Schaefer. Lock the ram in position. It's been a couple of hours since it was poured. We did get a nice full pour. A little bit of shrinkage right here, but this gets drilled and tapped for 7H bolt, 7H14, 7H9, coarse thread 7H bolt. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, not too bad. A little flash all the way around it. You got a good lineup on the pattern this time, looks like. The samples so far have turned out to be that I've broken have been gray, so let's find out about this one. We'll break it right here, see if it's gray. Turn around here. Find the vise. I got a vise here somewhere. Get up here. Well, now we had a hammer. That's what I like to see. Nice dark gray iron. Get the weeds and stuff off of it. So over here, nice and dark. Little tiny spot of white in that corner, but it looks like it might be from where it slammed in something. Uh, should be a good part. Should be nice and machinable. Well, still got one more to pull out, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the video and we'll, I'll let you know how the other one turns out. Bye.